हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडे वी विल बी स्टडिंग चैप्टर नंबर टू सिमिलैरिटी इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी स्टडिंग थियोरम ऑफ ज्योमेट्रिक मीन विच इज़ वेरी ईजी थियोरम एंड इट इज़ एप्लीकेबल इन प्रैक्टिस सेट नंबर टू पॉइंट टू सो दे फोर वी हैव टू स्टडी इट थरली एंड इट इज वेरी ईजी टू अंडरस्टैंड सो लेट स्टार्ट विद वॉट डज द थियोरम स्टेटमेंट स्टेट्स इन अ राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल सो दिस इज अ राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल अ परपेंडिकुलर सेगमेंट टू द हाइपोटेनियस फ्रॉम द ऑपोजिट वर्टेक्स इज द जोमेट्रिक मीन ऑफ द सेगमेंट इन टू विच द हाइपोटेनियस इज डिवाइडेड ओके नाउ द स्टेटमेंट लुक्स डिफिकल्ट बट वेन वी स्टार्ट प्रूविंग इट इट्स वेरी वेरी ईजी एंड एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल्सो नाउ वॉट डज द स्टेटमेंट से दैट वेन वी ड्रॉ अ perpendicular segment to the hypotenuse from the opposite vertex it means the geometric mean of the segment into which the hypotenuse is divided it is not divided equally they have not mentioned it it's not divided equally but it is divided okay matlab if it is 4 4 cm it will be divided into 3 and 1 or it might be equal also but most probably it is divided okay so remember this now how you are going to prove it it's very easy in right angle triangle you'll have to after writing the statement you'll have to draw the figure which is showing 90 degree over here also which is a 90 degree angle r q p or q p q r also you'll can name or r q p also you'll can name which is a 90 degree and when a perpendicular segment is drawn it also forms a 90 degree angle over here okay so i think it is clear to everyone how you all have to read the diagram also now in right angle triangle pqr pq and r segment q is is perpendicular to pr this is the first statement this we have taken from the question itself from the diagram itself nothing much is to be explained over here now you will see you have formed two triangles okay so triangle q R Q S R and P S R are similar as similarity of right triangles. Okay, right angled triangles. Just now or just now, nay. Um, last video we have studied about similarity and right angled triangle. Same thing you all have to directly mention over here. That theorem we have already done. Link has been given in the description box. You all can watch it so that it will be easy for you all to understand why we have directly wrote this statement. Similarity of right angle triangle. Why? Because this procedure, this much procedure will be saved if you all are writing it in this way. Okay. So directly also you all can write. And if you all have understood the similarity of right angle triangle theorem you all can mention it and prove it and then you all can prove the theorem of geometric mean but it will get lengthy no need for so much of efforts when we have we can directly mention it similarity of right angle triangle okay now once you all have proved that these two triangles are similar that is qsr and psr those are similar then you all can write the ratio okay so that is qs upon ps theek hai qs upon ps sr upon sq got it now it is very easy to remember also see sq and sq the names are different but its value is going to be the same okay sq and s QS or SQ, it's one and the same because this is similar to both the triangles. Okay, this is the similar line for both the triangles. Therefore, QS and SQ have came similar. So QS upon PS, SQ upon SR. Directly, you all can write QP or SQ also, no problem. But uh, in the textbook they have mentioned it, so write it in that way also. And even if you are writing it this way also, it will not cause any harm. SR upon QS, it's one and the same because we need QS only. So after this, when once you all have written this, that means you all have to cross multiply it. When you cross multiply it, QS will become QS square and PS into SR. It's simple. 
therefore segment QS is the geometric mean of segment PS and SR. It's very easy and hence your theorem has been proved. Nothing much is done. This statement is going to save a lot of time of yours that is similarity of right angle tri triangle which is already been uh, explained in the previous video. This thing, this much time has been saved if you all are writing this statement. So remember directly we have taken this statement from the theorem. Alright, so I hope this exercise or this theorem is clear to everyone. If in case you all have not understood anything, do let me know in the comment section. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.